be on time. Oh, and- right, right. We're live. Shut up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, you made me read this dumb, stupid book, and now I had to wake up 15 minutes earlier than everybody else, apparently. I was up. I, just- I feel like this is just one long troll, one after the other. Like, yeah, we're going to do book club. It's also at 7 a.m. I'm also not going to be on time. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> I fell asleep. Look, I fell back I asleep. I called you bitch that one time while we were playing a video a video game. <laughs> I don't think it warrants this punishment. All right. Gonna so fall. we're going to talk about both books. Um, the first, this, uh, the novella, the prequel novella, and the first book because Bay and I read the first book. You don't have to read. I don't care. It's I'm not upset if you didn't that you didn't read it. I didn't ask you to. Um, <laughs> But just because, like, we already yeah. finished it. So, um, <laughs> and they're both fucking terrible. Uh, spoilers, <laughs> if you give a shit, which you shouldn't. Um, but, yeah. Because it's for, Jenny. Yeah. Uh-uh. Okay, we'll, we'll start off with Shadows. Um, yeah. I am I am writing it clearance 7-Eleven sushi rolls. <laughs> You okay. hope it'll be good, and it's just awful. Um. Yeah. No. Six-year-old stale chips. That's what I'm going with. I'll go with like a single chicken McNugget, but like that shitty chicken McNugget that like still has a piece of the beak in it. Like they forgot to grind that bit up. Like that that one nugget. Without you, chew, you chew on it. It's a little crispy. You're like, what the fuck? And it kind of hurts. Like it, it pokes the root. Through. Like the kind that you like take it back and you actually complain about it, even though it's still McDonald's. You're like, hey, I know you're McDonald's, but fuck, come on. Like that chicken McNugget specifically. That's what I rate this book. <laughs> Um, that so was I've a got lot. notes. I've got notes, and um, which is bad for the book, good for you guys, because most of them, most of them are just like I'm gonna vomit emojis and eye roll emojis. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but the first note I have is me crying with I didn't miss Justine Air. Oh my god, her narration is terrible. Yo, oh, is it God, me? Yes. Like specifically, like her dude voice. Oh my God! Super, no, wait, I complain about it stupid. every time. I complain about it every. Aiden time. Aiden voice is back. I know. Like a, for, the and first couple of notes awesome. are like, "Oh fuck, it's Seth. Why is Seth here? Why is Seth here? Oh, it's not. It's just Justine being a moron." Um. <laughs> <laughs> like I just can't imagine like what town she grew up with. What dudes talk like that? No, like, she, um... like they all look like they. They all sound like like really douchey guys that are like overly constipated because it sounds like <laughs> or like out of breath for no reason <laughs> uh, I, I, love I love you Bethany I love you. I love you. I'm like I'm like alright that's okay <laughs> I mean I just want to know like who her husband or her boyfriend is when she's like testing this out with and he's like yep we, we sound exactly like that that's all that's how we all sound you should be very grateful that you didn't actually that you didn't have to do um, the first actual book. Oh my! Because God, there no. is the guy with the accent. Okay, hey, okay. So sometimes so it ends up with guys with country accents, and it's like, <laughs> oh. Perfect. But he sounds like a he sounds like a bumpkin with Down syndrome. Oh, <laughs> that's what he sounds Superman. like. Because she's like. This is totally what people sound like, and I just—it's fucking oh god. She went to the what? I can't remember. There was like some mechanic or some shit, and she did dip into that southern accent for a bit, and I was like, yes. <laughs> let's, let's not do that again. Let's either kill that character off or maybe hire a new voiceover person. But whatever. No, and like, how She's many hours of scene have we listened to now? Like over sixty, probably too many. Too many. Too much. And yet that bitch has a job. I like, know, right? How is that even she gets how, how all the jobs. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So characters. All right, Bethany's the main character. She's a fucking okay, moron. Well, I think I think can, she's a co-main character with with yeah. um fucking oh, yeah, Dawson. Right, Look, I literally listened to the book a couple days ago, but they're all so forgettable. I've already forgot <laughs> Dawson. Fuck. Dawson, okay. Yeah. Um, Can we just 
take a moment to a step, acknowledge that her name is Elizabeth and her nickname is yes, Bethany. No, I'm one, of my notes, one of my notes, where, where the fuck is it? Um, where is it? And then, okay, another thing I said back to the voice thing is, oh, yeah, her dumb Aiden voice is back. Woohoo. Alex, yep. you're so brave. Oh, my God. Mm. Well, in fairness, they're like 16, and that's like how 16-year-olds talk, right? Especially 16-year-old girls, right? Fuck my life. Um, I said, you know, I don't like Bethany's name. I complained about it several times. Um, one, because yeah, the name's terrible okay. anyway. But... Well, all the names were bad. What, uh, yeah. Demon, Yeah, I mean, Bethany. there's Dawson, Damon, and Dave. Then there's Andrew, Adam, and Ashley. Then in the actual series... Um, the main chick in that series, she's friends with Carissa and Lissa. And I'm like, can you please pick different <laughs> that's, names? that's right. I forgot about that. The love of God. But they're aliens. Why do they so all sound the same? All right. I'm going to take a minute to complain the about the demons. fucking aliens. So the aliens are the shittiest aliens ever. This reads like an urban fantasy novels because the, the fact that they're fucking aliens doesn't fucking matter. And I'm really fucking upset about it. I was expecting something kind of like The Covenant where it's shitty, but at least people get beaten up a lot. Instead, I ended up with this romance novel horse shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm pissed. And you're very displeased. Yeah, which I didn't realize had a first book. And so, like, the first few chapters, they're like, yeah, Aaron's and Luxon's. I'm like, what are we, what? What the fuck? Because the opening prologue was like, and Dawson sheds his skin. I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, honestly, I was envisioning like some reptile person, and I'm like, all right, this is weird. It's fucking whatever. Honestly, the novella was released at the wrong time because um, it was released before any of the other books in the series, but it should be released after book two, like as a flashback thing, but it wasn't, and it makes me cranky. Oh, so it, the dragon were reading a Jenny book. Goody. I know, right? It was horrible. <laughs> It's terrible. I had a really bad fucking time. Yeah, and she um, decided to inflict that on me because that makes sense. Yeah. You know what you really like well, to do uh, when you when you make new friends is immediately send them away with bullshit <laughs> book club requests. That's what you we do. warned you. I told you. We warned you. No, we we it. joked about like. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I was. We're gonna read a bad kidding. book. Ha ha. Lol. J K. Though, right, guys? And then you actually fucking did it. And that really fun. But it makes it a heart. more fun book club. That's why we do it. Because yeah, I don't bitching feel like is more fun, fun than us being like, oh my God, the book's good. All right, bye. I feel like, honestly, I would have rather written a Harry Potter book. I felt like that would have been a lot more. I, dude, I'd talk about that forever. That's we would talk about book. that because I haven't I love them. Harry Potter. Yeah, I could talk about We could look, if you read Harry Potter, I promise you, you could talk about it. We would have multiple okay. part book clubs for just one book. It'd be great. We could I do that. Harry Potter I mean, to make up just for this, because I, I look, I thought it was gonna be bad. I really didn't know. And um, mm. my first note though is goody <laughs> gumdrops. We're two lines in, and I'm already cranky. Yeah. The dialogue is the expression she uses. Like, at, at least I haven't heard it. It's on like Donkey Kong yet. Two lines in for me, I had to re rewind it because you were like, yeah, listen to it two times speed. Guess what? If you're new to audiobooks, don't start with two times speed. You're not ready for two times speed, okay? You start at 1.25 and then you work your way up over the next like two hours to two point, two point speed. You're like, yeah, just listen to two point speed. I was like, all right, cool. So right before I hit play, I was like, two point speed, got it. And then she was like, blah, 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 like some fucking weird horse auction bullshit. And I was like, ah, ah, wait, ah. <laughs> so I had to go knock it back to the fucking elementary 1.25 and then work my way up. I was like, 1.25, 1.4, 1.5, 1.8, and then, you know. But I got there. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> This was fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Bethany's a fucking mental patient. Um, and that, that's unfair. She's not a myth. She's just like a high school girl. She's an idiot. Anyway. Filled with emotions. Yeah, she's a fucking And her mental growing patient. womanly body. <laughs> she just doesn't know how to cope. She just doesn't know. She's a super handsome guy. She's a fucking idiot. <laughs> and Dawson's a fucking idiot, too. They're both stupid. And I wish they were both dead. Like, Jenny manages to do that where I'm like, I wish both these characters were fucking dead 
in a hole forever. But Jane doesn't. And then I'm the chance that they actually fall. No. Because even when she goes through and kills a character, like when she killed Alex, you can't just leave him dead. She always finds a way to bring him back. And I'm like, you know what? If you're going to fucking go there, please kill off your main character so that I can sleep easier <laughs> at night. Sorry, Jay. I'm upset. <laughs> what? Nothing. What? All right. Um, <laughs> Dee is also in this, and the first one, like, briefly, sort of. Yeah, I. She's you know just, what though? I will say I don't hate. Like I, I actually like Dee. She's a character I enjoy. Yeah, Dee's all right. I don't mind her. She kind of reminds me of Alice from Twilight. So it, here we can go into the fucking plot. It starts <laughs> off with him fucking around in the woods, and then he almost dies. And I said, "Oh, he's dying." He said, "Goody gumdrops, he deserves it." Um, <laughs> man, what book club brings out the best in you, huh? I know oh. it totally does. <laughs> also, <Holy> shit, <laughs> it gets also, worse. It gets worse. Wait, just quickly, um, as well. Did you notice it, um, Damon's voice is Seth's voice without the accent? Yes, I did. I was like, "This is horrible." It's wait, horrible. Aren't, the, all, aren't all the guy voices the exact same? No, it's slightly no. different. Seth's voice there's, is slightly different. There's the Aiden voice, similar. and then there's the Seth voice. I Seth felt like Demon was just a slightly lower than Dawson's voice. Well, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, that was the only difference. <laughs> Sometimes they would, she would literally different. give the voice, and I'd be like, wait, who the fuck is talking? And when she <laughs> clarified at the end, I'm like, oh, okay. You'd have to, like, piece it together based on what the dialogue was, because if it was douchey, then it was, well, nah, it was both of them anyway. Never mind. <laughs> Pretty uh, much. Like, Dawson's the fun one. I'm like, really? Because, <laughs> all right. Yeah. No, they're both he just was kind of a brooding bitch the whole time, so I don't know if he's like, I don't know if I consider him the fun one of that family. Um, and then like <laughs> there's a thing, and then he turns into light, and then he unturns into light, and you're like, oh, he's a thing of light. Why even make them aliens if you're gonna go with that? Because it's just magical horse shit. Okay. <laughs> um, high then they're fucking in high school, which is stupid because they're fucking aliens. Um. <laughs> but they're 16. Yeah, but they're they're aliens, Bay. They're fucking <laughs> They are aliens. Why the fuck are they in high school? I'm sorry. Because they have to learn. Because they're trying to blend in, yeah. Life. They're trying to blend in and live among society and tap some of that sweet human ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they're, they're like literally not. I'm really no. I have a really bad joke. I'm not gonna say it. It's really <laughs> toast and probes. It's totes and probes. Say it. You can't. You can't. I don't like suspense. I I need it to be told. No, it's super bad. It's super bad. It's not worse. It's probably not worse than anything I've ever said on this stream. I mean, one time I was like, nobody cares about your dead baby, Sam, and then the Jack Cochran was like, that was so funny. I want a T-shirt, and so now he has a nobody cares about your dead baby, Sam T-shirt. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> All right, let's Say let's no, let's just Say, skip. Let's no, move right it. along into chapter you one. Can't, you can't, and I can't, now it's you built up too much. I'm just super, no, it wasn't that good. And I voted, and you lost. No, nope. what? Yeah, I said we voted, okay. and he I lost. Was like, I thought you were talking to me. Um, yeah, no, do it. Why would I call just a bay? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know because I'm fucking tired. That's why. Um, <laughs> fine, fucking don't. I see how it is. Aliens got to okay, do their so. studies. How else do we learn? Yeah. <laughs> um, so then, like, we're in high school, and then he sees Bethany, and then he, like, gets a raging hard-on, and then you just have to sit there <laughs> while he has, like, a raging hard-on. Well, is it a hard-on? He's made of light. So, like, he gets a real bright gets on? I don't know. I was about to make that exact same pun. Like, God yo, damn it. like, Wait, demon this. looks over at him. He's like, bro, your crotch is glowing like crazy. <laughs> Knock it off, you freak. We're in class. He tries to put a science book over. Like, <laughs> okay. Quick side note. Was that a regular thing that happened to guys in high school? Bonus? Not a specific guy. Yeah. Um, Did guys just, like, I never noticed that. I noticed the voice cracking. 
to be honest, like I'm like a pretty uh, I don't know what is it not asexual, but like I've never really thought about it too much. Um, I'm not, so I'm not I, saying really you specifically, but you, ha no, you had I mean, male friends. I, I, right? I don't. I wasn't walking around like, hey, bro, you get a boner all the time. Do you get a boner, <laughs> math class, dad? Do you get a boner? First off, I didn't have friends in high school anyway. Second off, the last thing I was gonna do is somebody was gonna actually talk to me would be like, hey, bro, you have a boner. You boner it up, <laughs> dude. Gross. No. I mean, no, I would like, honestly, I, I get one every once in a while. I would in, in class. Like, yeah, no, that, I mean, Papa, but it was, it was always for weird shit. It'd be like, like, oh, did you hear that fucking uh, Attack of the Clones trailer just launched? I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> is Prez Padme in it? I'm really happy about it. Sweet. Oh, she says the the line, 18. We can see her back now. Dope. <laughs> um. And then she said those peepers were something else. And I was like, you... Mm. Oh, there's all sorts of cheesy dialogue. You dumb like bitch. <clears throat> oh, yeah. And then I think eight demons smacks him upside the head. And I said, I want to smack you too. Shrug emoji. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to recenter his bro because he's clearly getting the feels. And then, and then she says me likey. And I said, does she die tragically? <clears throat> I hope so. Because at this yeah, point, I, I was vomiting. Yeah, and... <sighs> their their make cute was more meat yuck. It, it was so gross. It was really disgusting. I don't... No, they I, just, look, they just... She came into class. She, he, he was like, yo, bitch is hot. And uh, and then she but, thought it was. I mean, they did it, and like they had tacky lines about it. But I mean, it was a very, it was a real like. I mean, realistically, that happens. Like people walk into a room, and you're gonna be like, "Damn!" And that's basically what it yeah, was. I don't want to fucking know about it, though. It's but gross. didn't they end up also but having like half the book. class staring at them? <laughs> Do what? They had half <laughs> yeah, the class. But then like. No, I think that yeah, like I mean, the, the class was staring at the brothers always because the brothers are like the super sexy, like out of town. It was the same. It was the same basic bullshit as Twilight, like the out of towners that are super <laughs> hey, sexy. Hey, you and then Twilight why is he giving the, the attention? Alone. To this chick? Leave Twilight alone. Yo, Twilight is garbo. No, it's, it it's, fucked it's, up all that hard work that Joss Whedon did building up vampires in a romantic way, but also a super cool way. And Buffy mm, and Angel, and then fucking Twilight, Twilight was like, "Hey, fucking sparkles, what's up?" <laughs> I think Jester like is my pop animation, culture though. spirit animal. What? I said I think Jester is my pop culture spirit animal. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Um, Side uh, bay. <laughs> <laughs> so, they build up Dawson in like the first like paragraph or so is like really shy and socially awkward. <clears throat> I felt and like they tried Bethany. too hard. I felt like they tried too hard to make Dawson like the coolest person. We're like, oh, he's super, super hot and confident, but also shy. I'm like, hey, guess what? Those two things don't fucking exist. You can't be confident and shy. Believe me. Um. Yeah. Well, because they're like they build him up as like shy and awkward, and then he just runs out and is like, yo, can we bang later? And she's like, oh my god, okay. Um. <laughs> And that's what I mean, happened. it was a little bit longer than that. How long were they? They were like in class for like a couple of days before he asked her out. It wasn't no. like, hey, bang date. It was, you know, like, let's get food. I like, swear it was the first day. It's the first fucking day. It's was right it? after. Okay, it's but still, I don't think it's like he wasn't like trying to bang her immediately. Like, I, he, he, was, a girl he was just subtle. <laughs> I know, right. but a shy, awkward guy doesn't immediately like hey we i just met you and this is crazy so he's my number call me maybe Which that's is exactly literally what happened uh, <laughs> that's the reference you wanted to pull for that one <laughs> <laughs> it <laughs> literally <laughs> happened that's what that's what happened i started I, I said hey i just met you and the rush just came okay so then she goes Fuck. home and we meet her fucking family and her uncle's all like Ugh, i'm dying and then you're like whatever i'm gonna fuck um who yeah who has total cancer and is anybody else predicting that in some way, okay. Oh, by the way, a quick little note about the Luxon, the alien race that Dawson is like. They never get sick. They they have some weird immunity, yes. probably because they're made out of light. And I have this weird feeling that in a future book, like that's gonna come into play with the cancerous uncle, because um, he did. Did you look up spoilers? No, I swear I did not. 
I just look. I'm one of my big things is okay, I like well, I like making calls on like in movies and books. I like making predictions because like cause literally ninety percent of the time I'm super accurate. This will be the third time I've read this series. Please don't ask me why. I decided to talk to myself earlier this year and read it. Yeah. Because I hated myself in May. Apparently, I will blame hormones, but <laughs> that prediction is completely accurate. So well yeah. done. I felt like that was going to happen, especially when in, in the future we're, we know about him healing people. So I'm like, yeah, that's definitely going to come into play for sure. But yeah, I, I'm like, I think it's because I've read so many books and watched so many movies that the formula now is pretty predictable. And especially in a book like this, because it's very, it, it's, it very much follows that like uh, Twilight style formula. Yeah. You know, this is what's, Except bad. This is how it, yeah, we'll yeah. go with that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so she goes home, we meet her family, and then my, my comment oh, and, is and, and guys, remember, because appar apparently it's really, really important, Bethany's mom was a teenage mother. It gets mentioned so many times. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case you fucking <laughs> forgot. Just in case you start right. to forget. Well, they, yeah, they do that throughout the book, like, yeah, you, like, you are, you're a complete moron. I'm like, hey, by the way. By the way, Luxons are made yeah. out of light and can totally heal themselves. We don't get sick. But also, Luxons can heal themselves and they don't get sick. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, cool. That's, uh, this, is, this, is, this is completely Jenny formula. Be grateful this is the only Jenny book you've read. And it will be the last Jenny <laughs> book you read, regardless <laughs> if I get invited to book club again. As much fun and, as lo and, and I'm being genuine. I do like being here. I will not read a Jenny book for it again. <laughs> That was terrible. What about a Jay Lynn book for it? I don't know. I don't because I feel like you guys are just trolling me with these books to where unless I know the I, book. It's not a like, I'll read Chronicles of Narnia. I That's awesome. About it. I told you but, that we were that you were gonna read a bad book. I kind of thought you were kidding and that you weren't gonna be so cruel to me, but it's cool. I get it. No, we're even now. No, we're even we're I, dead, call, I called wait, you a bitch wait, one wait. time, so now I had to I had to suffer for like three fucking hours in a book. So we're even now. <laughs> well, would, would Bay lie to you if she told you it's going to be a horrible book? I'm really yeah. a liar. No, I'm a terrible <laughs> liar. If, if I said it, it's probably true because it doesn't even like occur to me to lie to people. And then I will say though, I do appreciate that I was forced to read that because I actually haven't read like a book in years. And like sat down and read an audiobook. And I will say, at, going through the process of it, I was like, you know what? Fuck, man. I need to I need to listen to more audiobooks. It's super, super easy. Yeah, audiobooks and are it, and I was like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna be doing that more. So I do appreciate that because I, I literally I probably haven't read a book in like two years. And now yeah, like we started reading audiobooks <laughs> and now like I constantly have one and I'm just listening. I would like listen to them all yeah. the time. Did you send me the rest of the books, Bay? Oh, no, but I'm not going to now because otherwise um, my internet can handle one thing at a time only. Nice. <laughs> Apparently, <gasps> SDA internet works the same because she was our healer in our fucking video game the other uh, the other day, and she, her shit kept popping out. I'm like, yeah, you're kind of the most important person, so you can't keep leaving like that. <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> well, like, yesterday <laughs> it was fine, and it's fine now. We fixed it. Yeah. We turned it off and then back on again. Okay. Um, Just like the IT crowd suggests. Do you do oh. your headphones have a mirror on the side? No. Sorry, they're, just, they're just reflective. Other side. They're Wait. just reflective. Oh, okay. Well, it looked very mirror-y. And they pop off with and magnets, so I can put cool little things where they try. Where basically they get more money because they put a Rick and Morty picture on, and they're like, "Hey, twenty bucks." And most people are like, yeah, <laughs> even though I'll never see them because they're on my head part. Oh, another thing that's super common with alien races and stuff like that is that, um, well, in books like this anyway, is that there's like no females because usually your protag is a, your MC is a female care, a female human. Um, yeah, and always. so they're like, we don't have any other way to get our fucking dicks wet, which is horrible. Um, Again, and, they're made out of light. So it's like. Did their dicks get wet? Because I feel like the light would burn it off immediately if they did get wet. It would just, like, evaporate. No, they can do the fuck as humans. It's, I guess it's just a hard Do we know that for sure? Yes. Oh, okay. yes. We, it, that we is know that for sure. I just feel like if he was going to, like, you know, 
inside of her maybe accidentally like she would fucking explode with light <laughs> and that would probably be kind of fucked up like hey by the way baby you probably have like a 40 watt light bulb up your JJ right now I just dumped my load in you so enjoy that don't, by the way when you're trying to get it out later don't look directly at it because you will be blind <laughs> it's got to be our most powerful light for sure like literally we could light up all of Chicago with our with our semen <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm just, I, I'm just throwing out. I'm pitching ideas. I don't know. They're made up. You know, I, I gotta be honest. Though, I was really disappointed that there wasn't more fighting because I, the idea, like, yo, uh, uh, an alien being, like, that's like made out of like light. I was like, yo, that could be, that could be really awesome. Like, that could be really cool. But they never capitalize on like the cool nature of the light. It's, it's all like yeah. bullshit teen romance reasons. Like, oh, his well, skin gets him. vibrating when he's when he's attracted. <laughs> Or it's like he glows a little bit when he's getting intense. I'm like, what? No, fucking like shoot the beams out of your hands and like fucking melt people, man. Come on. Uh, <laughs> Damn it. That does, some of that does happen a bit in the actual series, but nowhere near as often. No, we had one little should, fight scene. Or as like, effectively as it should. And we actually well, we had one half fight scene because they like cut it out when the good shit happened, I feel like. No, they did because they were like, demons here, all right, bye. And I was like, no. I was like, what? <laughs> Um, I was really happy when she fell off a cliff. That made me super happy. I was like, <laughs> yes. And then he saved her and I was like, no. Terrible. God damn it. I was like, how dare you? Um, anyway. So, and we then apparently they give you the, they give you the information that masturbating makes them go all stroby. Wait, did they? <laughs> yes, I must have fucking blew fucking right did. past that. They did. What? <laughs> that was said. Jerking it gets them, makes them stroby. They like actual, not like when they're in the room, like, cause I know he was like sitting there, like getting on tense and thinking about shit and he was getting all stroby, but they actually said, yeah, like, yeah, can't jerk it as a well, luxury. Well, yeah, no, that's what happened no like, in that disco scene in your room. where he's like starting to strobe out. Um, D walks in and she's like, Demon said you were probably fucking jerking it, but. <laughs> wow, that family's way too close. Jesus. I, yeah, I missed that fucking part entirely. Holy fuck. Be grateful. And then I yeah. also well, added, it, it doesn't matter now because it's out there. And I also <laughs> added everyone is a virgin cliche, cliche cinema sins ding because <laughs> yeah, woodsy outdoor smell cliche. Um, also, there's way too fucking much little butt in this. Honestly, this series was the first time I ever heard anyone call a kid little butt. And now I know why it sounded so weird. Because when Monkey calls Grand Monkey Little Butt, it doesn't sound weird. It's just I think it's just Justine's voice. And can she you enunciates the t? That's She's the like little one butt. other person that says little butt like that <laughs> in this whole world, and they were able to find each other. How that is <laughs> fucking true. <laughs> and, and they also like sugar. Yeah, well, uh, and I'm uh, which I like I I, that actually tweet. made me. <laughs> That was like the most unrealistic part about the whole thing, that there was a dude that was like, yeah, my favorite thing, sweets. Yay, sweets. I'm like, I'm like, wow. Well, Don't build up this cool, badass character and then be like, yeah, I like candy. That's my favorite. <laughs> I'm like, yo, well, calm down, Dawson. If, You're really losing your image. If, when that conversation happened, I'm like, I tweeted <laughs> about this exact conversation and I found the tweet and sent it to Bay. It was like, Oh my god, you love sugar? I love sugar. It must be true love. And literally, that's the conversation, and it is the most retarded thing ever. Because let's be honest, it's not uncommon for a guy to like sweet things. Everybody fucking loves sugar, you idiot. You yeah, sugar is fine, but I don't know. Like the way that he said it and that it's his favorite thing. Yeah. I don't know. Look, I'm not like a super manly man. Like I don't watch sports. I'm not really into cars. Look, I just I like I like playing video games and reading comic books and watching Star Wars. That's it. But you know what? I'm at least man enough to to know, like, yo, know, if there's somebody's like, what's your favorite food? It's going to probably have a meat in it. And I just feel like when he's like, when they're like, what's your favorite food? And Dawson's like, I just like sugar, just like sugary things. I'm like, what a fairy. Look at this guy. <laughs> like, I started, like, in her dialogue was like this New Jersey douchebag, like, this fucking fairy over here. Look at this guy. Ah, I made a light and I like sugar. Fuck out of here, guy. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> 
I can't wait to be surrounded by that next week. And you know what? I lied to you. I said that I was like completely free next week. I'm totally not because next week is Thanksgiving. And I thought it was in two weeks. And I was super wasn't ready for that. Because I have like, yeah, I'm, nah. Oh, and then Kimmy, so there's like a thing with like a ping pong ball. So they're playing ping pong. And for whatever the fuck, yeah. fucking stupid ass fucking reason, characters can't be a goddamn bitch without being like so overly dramatic that like, you're like mean girl this, style is this dumb bitch like five because only a five-year-old would act like this because kimmy's like i'm like waiting like for you to get it because like fuck you because like i'm popular all right bye <laughs> well they want to make it super obvious who the antagonists are in this thing so they gotta like full mean girls it so you're like that yeah. bitch all right well you can make a character and he doesn't do subtlety a cow no. without making them like Satan. Um, <laughs> I felt I like promise. she does try really hard to like emphasize like who you're supposed to like and who you're supposed to not like. I, you know, which I, I don't really care for in any form of fiction. Like I, I remember like watching Battlestar Galactica. My favorite character was Gaius Baltar and he was a piece of shit, but it wasn't like the show forced you to like, you know, I mean, again, cause it's like they, they make it impossible for you to decide who your favorite characters are. I feel like because she's she emphasizes like this is who you're supposed to like and this is who you hate. So you're like you like Dawson, but Andrew you hate. And they drive they make like every effort to remind you like we hate Andrew. By the way, we hate Andrew. His brother Adam Tote's cool, but Andrew fuck that guy. <laughs> I'm like, all right, look, calm down. Like I get it. We don't like Andrew. Calm the fuck down. He's a dick. Like, can you? <laughs> no, I feel like when I'm when I'm writing, I try super hard to like if I have a dicky character to make them a dick, but not like a dick that you'd be like nobody fucking acts like that. Yeah, but it, yeah, again, it's almost unrealistic. Like, I mean, when you think about it in real life, like nobody actually acts like that because nobody thinks to themselves like, yeah, I'm in in the movie of life, I'm the fucking asshole. Like nobody thinks like that, so they're <laughs> not gonna go out of their way on a regular basis to do asshole sex. It was like Andrew just spends his life. It feels like just thinking of like, man, how can I be a total bitch? today like, how can i fuck someone's day up oh my god i gotta think of it i'm like jesus because every time he comes in the scene you're like fucking andrew dude this guy can't can't like be an adult or like be nice at all like just gotta be a total bitch the whole time and then right after kimmy does her thing <laughs> ashley goes up to bethany it's like and is like he's not gonna want to like eat you out all right bye and then you're like fuck my okay um, again this did not happen okay <laughs> that's exactly he was what like hey happened. no she's Oversaggerating. I'm Good not thing there's a man in here to let everybody know how it actually went down. All this overdramatic <laughs> bullshit. So, so they're playing ping pong. Some girl's trying to get some other girl's attention. She's getting mad about it. And and there's another chick that's like, I don't think it was at the same time as the ping pong. I want to say it was after the ping pong. It was pong after. Game. It was right after. But yeah, she came up to her, and because she was pretty much totes jelly, that uh, Bethany, this new girl, gets to walk in, and, you know, stomp the yard, and fucking immediately uh get a date with the hot boy is just jealous and she's like you know he just he works his way around like he met he's made out with so many girls you're not special <laughs> she didn't walk up and be like he's totally not gonna eat you out because you have a nasty <laughs> pussy like that's exactly what she not, said that's not what happened she was just trying to throw her game off as fine well and then the dumb fucking mouth breather believes her so then he's like, all right, you ready to like go out? I'm sorry if like, you don't want to. I'm a fucking piece of shit. And instead of being like, no, wait, I want to suck wow. your dick, she just stands there like a goddamn <laughs> nope. mental patient and watches him walk nope. away. Nope. All right, let's go back to the ping pong game, though, right? <laughs> we, got, we haven't finished with Andrew. Jesus Christ. All right, so they're playing ping pong. This one girl's trying to get trying to get Bethany's attention, being a bitch. I don't remember the chick's name. She's like just a super like like if she was in a, in the movie, it'd be like high school girl number three. Like that's how insignificant. Who gives a shit? This girl is. But either way, she ends up like smacking a ping pong towards Bethany's head, and Andrew, the dickhead, catches it right before it whacks her in the face and melts the ping pong with his big dumbass light powers because he's like he has no fucking self control at all. And he knows that his boy Dawson is is uh, is peeping this human girl, and he's trying to keep it down for the light peoples um, by melting a ping pong because that's super badass and lets people know that you're in charge. It's like the equivalent of a dude like when he's like angry, like crushing a beer can, like I'm so strong. I'm like, oh wow, dude, you melted a ping pong ball. Good for you, fucking slow Save clap, you. Andrew. Go Good for you. Synopsis. Pardon? But. At this point, she nobody knows about the alien thing. Bethany doesn't know, but she's like a little thrown off because a he feels she know she mentions that he feels like he's irradiating heat, like he's really hot. 
and not in like the traditional way, although also in the traditional way. But he also catches his ping pong and fucking melts it like a dipshit. So now we can continue. Sorry. Okay, so then after that, Ashley goes up to her and like you said, she's just like, he's like fucks everything and so like fuck you. And then she's like, oh my God, he fucks everything. Like, oh my God. And then Dawson like a dumbass walks up and he's like, I'm sorry about Andrew. So because of the Andrew thing, you clearly don't want to suck my dick anymore. And then yep. instead of being like, no, wait, I don't want to suck your dick, she just yep, that's stands exactly there. Exactly, I phrased it too. Well, he gave her num- he gave her his number first. <laughs> Within a day of meeting her, like two days of meeting her, he's like, yeah, I know you probably don't want to <laughs> suck my dick anymore because that weird blonde boy melted a ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> what happens? And, no, uh, he just he took responsibility. She doesn't know that they have any relation whatsoever. I mean, obviously they're like a family unit, the whole alien race, and she doesn't realize that they're like related. So when he came up to apologize about him, she was like, I don't. Seems weird, like they're not even together. But she was. It added to the to the lovingness of him because she was like, "Oh, he would take responsibility for someone he doesn't even know, or like he's not even like that close <laughs> to, or whatever kind of thing." Well, no, he says like, "I'm sorry about my friend," and she's like, ah, "They're friends." And I'm like, "No," <laughs> she was like, "She was like, oh, I'm surprised." That is, no, I, you know, that's actually she's a like, line. you don't, no, that's she, a well, line. she's no, that's a fucking line. It's just Man, a yeah, not that time. It's an internal and, and, yes. dialogue. She, that, like those those words were were actually spoken within her within her thing, but it wasn't like ah, they're frat. It was more like oh shit, like they're frat. Like I thought this dude was a cool dude, and now he's hanging out with a douchebag. More yeah, in that friends? sense. Oh my god. But she also it was like it was like man, this guy's a sweetheart because she's he's apologizing for this other dude, which he really doesn't need to d- be doing. And and in the end of that that you know uh, encounter with Andrew and the ping pong, Dawson did step in to uh, to be cool. Sorry, are you raising your hand? Yes. Okay, sorry, go. <laughs> I am going to go and get a drink. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> All right. But, but yeah, I can't, so- I'll still be able to hear you guys. All, All right. right. So we can't talk about her. I love you, Bay. All right. We talk mad shit about her. It's cool. She can't hear if us. If you talk shit about Bay, <laughs> I, I will end you. Um, she said she could hear us. I'm not that dumb. We'll talk. I'll talk about her later. Don't worry about it. <laughs> No, but so they have this uh, encounter. Would you stop? I was kidding. Just stop looking at me like that. <laughs> so they had this encounter and then he apologizes for it. And they had set up a date right before then. And he was like thinking that she wouldn't want to date him because he's like, that was kind of dumb. I'm like, yeah. What? And then she stands there like a goddamn mental patient and just watches him walk away. Yeah. But that then happens. later on, it, it gets resolved and she, they end up going out. And all the shit that happened in between was like fucking nothing. Although um, the majority of the book was not, it was like that. It was just like uh, it felt like a fucking montage of them hanging out, and I was like, "All right, this is stupid." <laughs> um, but they do do it. Do you want to skip to where they went to the diner or where they first like actually went on a date? I'm gonna wait for Bay to get back because I have things to yell about. Okay, I'm back. Hey, all right. So Hi. fucking, they go to the goddamn diner, which is the grossest fucking shit I've ever read in my entire life. No, like, you know what was the first shit I ever read in my entire me. life? What? What? When she when she grows a pair and calls him, and then they're talking, and it's like, you know, I'll see you in five hours, because, you know, that's how late we already stayed up. Yeah. Oh, my God, I know. And then he's like, and then he's like, I have a secret. And she's like, what? And he's like, I don't want to hang up. And she's like, me neither. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cringy. And I'm like... Was I actually like this in high school? Please tell me I wasn't. I wasn't. I hope I wasn't. I would have been, <laughs> but I didn't get any girls' numbers to be able to fucking even do that shit, but I probably well, would have done maybe, some stupid shit like maybe that. Maybe in high school, but shortly after high school, I got in, I, I pretty much got a fucking ill complex and... Well, yeah. and keep in mind, too, he's also 16. It's not like he's, he's like a thousand years old, like fucking... Uh, Edward from Twilight. So he's also going to be a little bit awkward and, and silly. So I don't think she intended for that, to be honest. I feel like she's just yes, a bad writer. Did. Like, yes, she did. No, I'm saying I don't think she intended for him to say. I think she was actually thinking that that would sound like romantic and cool, whereas actually it just sounds like a fucking silly yeah. high school thing. Like, oh, that he would be I'm like, gonna... I don't want to hang up. I got a secret. I don't want to hang up. I see you in five hours, coast. but I love you. He says they're from <laughs> off the coast of Greece. And I, my literal note is, are they aliens or Apollo's jizz? Um, Probably. <laughs> well, because in, like, in the other series, um, the, it's about the Greek gods. And, like, Seth is from an island off the coast of Greece. So she, like, does, like, some, like, fucking weird-ass crossover shit. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, like actually in Covenant, there is actually a scene where Leia is reading a book. And it's a Lux book. Mm. Just saying. Stupid. You're not a good enough author to get away with that. Um, I mean, I think I. I mean, I think that I'm, I don't like Ginny, but I do think that's cool in other in other series when they do like have references to their other work. You no, know? like it's cool. cool. It's just she's not cool enough to. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So then they're at the fucking diner and they're gross for like hours, and I like, there's a lot of fucking kill me. I'm gonna puke. Um, <laughs> notes. And I said, yay, alien fights. There's a fight scene afterwards, right? Well, that's later. Um, I'm like, I'm, I'm jumping ahead. Um, I'm lost as to what happened. Well, their day was super... And they go, and, it was and super they gross. Have... They spend all day being gross. And then he's like, you know what? I'm not going to kiss her. And I'm like, if you're going to make me fucking sit through a whole <laughs> all that. scene of them being gross all fucking day... Well, mm. it was like a super traditional high school scene, but it was it wasn't it in the first day where where his sister did uh, stumble across to them because I think uh, initially yes. initially he was trying to keep it low key that he was dating a human because it's it's not it's not that you're not allowed to in the Luxon community, but it's kind of frowned upon. You definitely can't have like intimate relationships with with people, and uh, and so he was trying to keep her low key like his side chick, except she wasn't his <laughs> side chick. Uh, but then his sister walked in on him and was like, oh, hi, oh, my God. Yeah, well, they spent all day being really fucking gross. And I'm like, they should just, like, if you're going to do it, at least make them kiss. Fuck my life. Um, then there's, like, I don't know what the fuck happens in between. But then they end up at our, in her room. And then, like, when he oh, actually does yes. kiss her, Can I just he asks. And I'm like, she's fucking wait, alone with you, wait, idiot. Wait, wait, what? you were jumping the gun. She's like, come over to my house and hang out. And he's like, okay. And then they spend two hours going through her family photo albums. Yes, that was dumb. How is that? How is that romantic? I'm still mad that he asked permission, though. I'm like, she's alone with you, and she's been gross for like days. Look, it's cute to go through people's photo albums and see them when they're cute and shit. But this is like the first time, really, that you guys have actually been like alone, alone. Why the fuck are you being like he's my great uncle? Um, weird. Ah, because she's just super awkward. The thing is, like, I can relate to to doing weird, awkward shit. I'm a weird, awkward, shy dude, and like, if I ever if I ever go out with a chick, like, yeah, I'm gonna do some super, like, I'm gonna look back and back, fuck. But it's like you get so nervous and anxious. Like I get mad social anxiety. So like I like I, I could see myself doing stupid shit like that. Like I've literally brought a girl over and been like, uh, like for obvious reasons, and then and then panicked and be like, uh, oh, do you want to see my super rare Spider Man comic book? <laughs> She's like, not really. And I'm like, oh, why are you more of like a Venom fan or? Uh... <laughs> I'm like, and then and then we'll move to the bed. And I'll be like, ah, pillow fight. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> so, like, I can't be mad at her for that shit because it's not even like a, a you thing. Like, uh, and I, I imagine that the the idea was to make her like an awkward, shy person, and, which actually was followed up with her actions. Whereas, like, the whole fucking Dawson being confident and shy at the same time bullshit kind of made me mad. But yeah, so I mean, I can understand like something weird like happening like that because I've been in those. You know what? I still want her dead. Well, I just you know like what though the way maybe that's how. It- Maybe that was the intent of the scene, but how it was written, it kind of just read like, like she invited she was, him over to look yeah. at his at her phone. Well, I, yeah, I think the way that, that she maybe would have written it, and I, I I tried to take it in the like optimistic way of like she was actually a really smart writer, but it probably was more just like her trying to be romantic and be like, look at my whole family. I just want you to know everything about me and my world and all my things. By the way, my uncle's really sick. And this is my fucking history. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah. It's super sick, by the way. By the way, also, Luxons can heal themselves. I don't know if you guys know that because they don't get sick. And also, by the way, I have a sick cancerous uncle and he's not doing so hot. But also, you guys can get heal yourselves. No big deal. All right. Anyway, you know, so yeah, it, I, I felt like that was a totally, it wasn't like an egregious error on her part. I felt like, yeah, her showing the photo out was a little fucking whatever but you know i've well I've, no i'm not mad about her so much as i'm mad about the fact that he's like can i kiss you i'm like fucking 
Yeah, so when Just he finally do does it. make the move, he's like, do you mind if I kiss you? Well, you know, in this day and age, in fairness, which this is a very up-to-date novel. I mean, oh Homeboy's God. using an iPhone, right? So that which I thought was weird that they had to mention like an iPhone. Yeah. I'm like, oh, uh, okay. Um, yeah. but it is super up to date. And in this day and age, man, I feel like you gotta act or you gotta ask because ever since the fucking hashtag me too came out, now everybody's I fucking know, but, doing all over the internet. Yeah, like, but like she, right, she's well, alone well, with you on, but she, she but she's alone with you on purpose. <clears throat> Yeah, no, that, I understand that, that is, but you know, like I said, in this day and age, no, everybody's doing the Me Too no hashtags. Problem. You gotta be extra careful, but like, hey, do you mind? Could you also please fill out this form letting them letting the government know <laughs> no, that you gave consent no in case this comes back later? For it taking like months for them to kiss, and then there's no excuse for him being like Was it months? I think was it? It was a couple weeks. Okay, yeah. I, well, that I can't. I can't blame them no, either because I've literally no, gone on like three dates with a girl no and excuse. not kissed her just because I don't have the stones for it. So I'm like, yeah. There's I no definitely excuse. wouldn't yeah. have asked though. I just would have waited for a good moment to pop up. But uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, it was it was a little it was a little silly, but yeah. It's it, and again, it, it sort of fights the the character that she developed in the beginning because if you're gonna give him the descriptor of like he's so confident in himself, I'm like, well, a confident guy wouldn't do that. Either commit to him being confident or commit to him being shy, but do one of the two because it just it, you keep contradicting yourself. Because at moments he's like overly confident, and at moments he's really shy. And speaking as a shy person, I know that you don't just like flip that switch on. You're like, yeah, I'm I'm fucking be only girls fuck. can get away with being that bipolar. Let's be honest. Yeah, that's fair. Because because the shy thing is literally intentional half the time with girls. Yeah, we're just being coy. I could see that. Yeah, I could absolutely see that. But yeah, with Dawson, it just frustrates me. I'm like, bro, be one or the other. Be a character. Don't be this weird, like, amalgam of what apparently, like, some women, I guess, at least writers, think is, like, the perfect man. Who's, like, <sighs> again, it's just, like, a, a fucking contradiction on himself. And I'm like, all right, this is... I'm like, I, well, that's great, because no, none of us are like that. <laughs> like, fuck. It's frustrating. <clears throat> oh. So... They do actually kiss, and then that leads to him they getting kiss, a and light then he's like, on. Yeah, like a fucking Christmas tree, and then she's like, "Oh my god, you're like light," and then he's like, "Yeah," and then she's like, "Okay." Yeah, she was really cool with it because I was I knew that that moment was gonna happen that he was gonna slip, and um and he was gonna light up like a light bright, and she was gonna freak the fuck out. But I thought what was gonna happen was like the traditional romance thing where they have something that breaks them up you know, towards, you know, the, the later half of the, of the book or the story where they're that like, there's a bullshit. That's what I like. Yeah. To where there's a reason bullshit. why they like push away from each other and it's going to be sh her freaking out that he's an alien. And more so like probably cause of the way that the book is written that she was just gonna be mad cause he lied about it. Um, but she handled it like way too cool and was like, Oh, you glow. That, okay. What else? Yeah. And he's like, so will you still stuck my dick if it's all glowy? And she's like, whatever. Yeah. She totally wants to stuck his dick. That's what happens. That's exactly what happened. Um, well, th basically, they they talked about it, and apparently, when a Luxon does that around a human, which, by the way, I don't like that they use the Luxon thing because there's a, there's a Luxon alien race in this TV show called Farscape <laughs> that I used to watch. And it's a super bummer. Hey, little man. He can't hear me. <laughs> no, he can't hear me. Why is he Why is he responding to me? Is he trying to cool guy me? <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, I mean, uh, it was, yeah, it was a little bit silly that, that he immediately, or she immediately was kind of cool with it. But another notable fact about that encounter was the fact that apparently when Luxons glow around humans, they leave a, a sort of trace on them, like a glow. They make them glow a little bit and it, and it makes them, um, yeah. it makes them easy to find by their sort of enemy race, which is the Aaron's AKA the shadow people, which even before they mentioned shadow people, I'm like, Oh, I bet you they're made out of like shadow or some shit. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, Aaron's <laughs> shadow people. I'm like, yep, <laughs> there you go. That um, makes sense. <laughs> it's not necessarily like they can glow around them without leaving a trace. It's like when they use powers, which they establish in this, in like the for actual first book. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's mm, and I, it's I'm also because the way that they they or the way that she wrote it made it seem like she actually did have a physical glow for like a few days afterward, and I'm like, yeah, if that's the case. Why the fuck is it anybody else saying anything about it? Yeah, like, no, I was thinking like, that too. Yo, why the fuck you glowing, girl? Because <laughs> like I thought she could also <laughs> see it, 
because she kind of acts like she can see it. So I'm like, oh, so yeah. she's glowing for everybody. That's weird. And then you find like, out that it's only like, sick for the, the next week. people that can see it. And I'm like, oh. Oh, is that the case that only Luxon people see it? Because it wasn't super clear. And yeah, I, was like, clear. I was like, why it's isn't everybody commenting you, on that? It's not clear until you read the first book. Okay, yeah. Because I was like, why, is, why isn't everybody in the school commenting on that? And like her parent or her mom going, what? What I happened feel like to that'd be a little weird? Yeah, no. Um, apparently, because they they live near the beta courts shit because it makes the Aram not be able to see that they're Luxon. Um, okay. but the trace isn't affected by the beta court, so the Aram can see the trace and the Luxon can see the trace, but no one else can. But see But then, the when trace. you think about it, why the fuck isn't the trace also interrupted? Because it's like a subset of their powers. Because it, it it might be a slightly different wavelength. Obviously. That is fucking stupid. <laughs> if well, you're gonna make rules, well, don't break them. Babe, babe, what? Babe. I'm upset. We we also have um another situation. This is in the first book that it's established that we have another being that can be killed with a finger prick. Oh my god, I know. Okay, so in what? in uh in the Covenant series, the demons spelt the way that she spells the demon's name, by the way. Which is oh well he hasn't seen it written. Yeah, before. I've only seen the audiobook. It's D A I No D A E M O N. Demon. Isn't it? Yep. Yeah. I think so. So more like Damon. Okay. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. yeah. Which, by the way, I know you're like made out of light people, but I would maybe do like a little bit of research when you land on planet Earth and be like, hey, maybe Demon's not like the coolest name to <laughs> fucking name your kid. <laughs> might be a fucking I problem right. down the line. Like, shit. Yeah, yeah. What's it? What's your full name? Demon Antichrist Satan Lover? <laughs> Look, I have a, I have a really, uh, really uh, liberal family. No, don't worry about it. Um. <laughs> Then, like, then they kind of go out and they jump off, and she just jumps off a cliff. Um, and then he's like, <laughs> I, Yeah, naturally, naturally. Here's where we go SDA again. Fucking, <laughs> so, like, yeah, she was. So she wants to suck his dick, and then this bitch comes up to her and said, This boy don't want to eat your pussy, so she jumps off a cliff. <laughs> That's like, what no, they, go, they go rock climbing to go to Dawson's favorite spot. Look, I feel like now that I've been watching book club for a while and haven't been reading the books i feel like you guys have been giving me a severe misrepresentation of the fucking books that you guys have been reading okay so dawson wants to take bethany up to like his little fucking favorite view which happens to be a super rock climbing thing which by the way i do go rock climbing i'm not gonna take somebody that doesn't fucking rock climb up a big ass fucking rock like you you have to start out by taking bitch to the ymca a little a little bit and fucking climbing the little baby rocks and you work your way up you're not just like hey by the way are you a fucking veteran rock climber because we're gonna go see this cool spot <laughs> but you know either way they they climb up this like super you know treacherous rock and which i also feel like he probably could have like maybe just like flown up there with her i don't know <laughs> well he can fly up there. i don't know if he can carry her I don't, yeah i don't know because i never really say specifically but i'm kind of like if he's able to catch well, her they, which, they, by well, the way, they, they would probably give her mad whiplash anyway no it, it, he has you know, to be well, able to do that he can, but he can run super fast why couldn't he just run around her and made like a little tornado and carried her up there well yeah, yeah like dude, like a idea. flash move i like that but he it, it is known that he can pick her up when he's like in his like super speed mode or whatever because he does that when he uh, earlier we forgot to mention that she almost uh she almost fell before slipping on ice and uh and homeboy caught her like super fat like freaky fast and he's done that now on multiple occasions where he's had like shown his like ridiculous reflexes and she's starting to question him but either way they climb up this rock for some weird reason and he doesn't just like float her up there which he, he has hair now at this point like she knows who he, he does is have hair now. He and, have hair and could have uh uh could sorry um, no it's fine there's a baby <laughs> <laughs> whammons am i right guys um so they end up climbing this rock and homegirl like falls like he for some reason takes his eyes off her for a second and then that one second that he takes his eyes off her homegirl slips and falls off the rock she jumps off gets, a fucking cliff get, yeah that translates to the same thing basically <laughs> and, then, and then she busts a little pumpkin head on this rock and then um 
And then he, like, goes down there and he's just screaming his head off. And, like, okay, if somebody's, like, possibly dead but maybe not, screaming your fucking head off doesn't help. Maybe check if she's breathing. Maybe. Uh. Well, he, didn't he mention that she was not breathing? No. I think so. Okay. I think he did because he I made he specific did. note of – well, he made specific note of when she started breathing again. Yeah, well, I, I want to say that that he did say that – I mean, said something along – basically indicating, like, yo, she's dead. Because that was, like, part of the, the thing is we learned that, like, with those – with those powers of him not ever getting sick is, oh, guess what? He can also kind of hashtag heal people a little bit. So that happened. Yeah. So she bumped her head and fucking died. And then he brought her back. Well, to I, thought, life I thought she landed on the superpowers. spike. Didn't she land on the spike? Yeah, I hope she got impaled. That would be funny. Yeah. I thought she got impaled. I really hope she did. I must have misheard that scene. Like, if she did, I would hope that Jenny would at least give us the gratification of a very gruesome and pale scene. Like, that's wow. what I personally. <laughs> now I'm, I'm not, thinking that I might be, I might have misheard it because there was no mention of a giant hole in her clothing. I thought she just bumped the back of her head on a rock or something. I don't remember. I, specifically. She, like, broke every bone in I her just body. remember there was blood. That was all. <laughs> they, like, they were very specific about the blood that was, that was everywhere. Okay, so I think we can establish she fell and by some in some, some way as some, a result yeah. before she deaded. Yeah, <laughs> super deaded, and then was brought back to life through the power of love and also some weird light ability. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know how um, light aliens can enter another human and heal them, but he did. Yeah, you're right. Just the fact that these light aliens exist, totally cool. But the fact that they can heal humans with their light alien powers fucking crosses the line. Like, I want some <laughs> amount of realism, you know what I'm saying? It's like, weird. Yeah, well, I mean, either way, he fucking fixes her up. But he even he seemed like he didn't even he didn't know how he did it. He was he wasn't sure that that was something that he was capable of doing, but apparently it's a thing that he can heal people. So now they're both like all right, well, this is a fucking thing. And and also keep in mind that now that he's glown around her again, because at this point the trace had like left her, but now he's glowing super bright around her to heal her. And now she has an extra good trace on her for Aaron to be able to find. She's extra vulnerable now, basically. Yeah. What happens next, Bay? Oh, she goes home and meets, um, sees dying uncle. And he's like, you're bloody. And, she's and like, then that's pretty much Damon the end of that himself. Scene. Not in a weird, awesome. like, emo way, just like he fell. No big deal. <laughs> Chill out, Uncle. You're bleeding, idiot. Fucking cancer. Hey. <laughs> what? I think she's reading her notes. I'm reading. Sorry. Um. Oh. Ew. And they just get fucking kidnapped. That's what happens. That's and then, right? well, the, the, yeah. the, 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 I think they get an attack and then yeah, they get a kidnap. And then it kind of just cuts to black and then it cuts to um, it cuts to the DOD well, guys being like, we don't, I don't think they know they we got kidnapped because I'm per, like when I left the book. Now you told me because you I was the getting head, there, but you but no, call, they, call, hold on. As far there. all we know is that we think that they're dead. I know. I was getting there. But we don't know that they've been kidnapped. We're supposed to be under the impression that they died. Well, but, like, if you've read Jenny's work, you know they're not dead. Um, <laughs> but, like, I mean, no, they, the DOD is, like, they're dead. And then Demon and D are, like, ah, they're dead. And then that's it. And then the book ends. That's yeah, because the, the Luxon have, like, a, a an ongoing relationship with the DOD to basically you know, live among human society kind of undercover, but they don't really know everything about him. Oh, Department of Defense. Yeah. Okay. So they're, they're kind of trying to keep him under wraps, but the DOD don't actually know everything about um, the Luxon. They, they kind of hide a little bit of what they're capable of, but I would imagine that the government's trying to do what the government does, which is harness their power for weapons and evilness. Probably. But yeah. So they were coming to let let yeah. the family know basically that they that what's her name Bethany and Dawson have died, and then Demon's like, "Well, yes. 
thought because the whole time there's been this thing about how they don't want them mingling with humans and how this this bethany chick is a problem and then right when demon's like all right you know i get it you love the girl we'll do it then then uh they die and for some reason he fucking blames her ass um and is like fuck humans i'm never trusting them again so now he's got this weird vendetta for humans it seems yes but he gets over that pretty quick But yeah, so that was Shadows. And they is distracted. Yeah. Now, I didn't read Obsidian. I was not told to read Obsidian. I was just told to read Shadows. I didn't read Shadows. And I didn't think that I would finish it that fast, which is why I was just like, Bay, can we talk about it? Because I don't want to reread it because I'll forget everything. Um, So Obsidian is even like dumber. But like most of Obsidian, there's not a whole lot to talk about because it's pretty much just. D and um, and what's the what? Katie? Katie, Katie's her name. D and Katie are friends. Demons like you're gonna get my sister killed, but I also want to do you. And then we just like deal with that tension the entire book, and that's pretty much all that happens. Well, so it's no, basically then, like shadows, it, except with different well, characters. No, well, no, then what happens is a bear, a bear comes along, and he gets all glowy on the bear, so she gets all Tracy, and then just as that's starting to wear off, she finds out that something I can't remember why but she runs away from demon and runs in front of a truck and then he freezes time to get her away from the truck and oh, God. and then she's like and oh she's my god, like, god that you're weird. alien and, yeah and um, now she's extra double tracy and then they're like we need to get the trace off you so demon kisses her and they make out a bit and then the trace is gone what? and then Yep, and then Arima yeah. coming, and they're heading towards the house. So she's like, "Hey, D, make me extra glowy again." And she's like, "I," and then D makes her extra glowy again, and then she drives the car away from the house to chase to make it go away. Oh, there's also a and rapey guy. Attack. Because you know that guys oh, are, that are rapey or super rapey. Yeah. Well, we'll just do main plot, and then we'll go to rapey guy. Yeah, and then she drives the truck away, and then. Aram attack and they kill two of them and then the third one comes and he almost deads her and then she gets extra glowy and then dies and demon fixes her and now their their hearts beat the same like what happened with thingies and then and then there's so the whole enti- in the whole entire book he's like we can't be a thing because reasons because like you know my brother died because he had a thing. And then at the end of the book, he does a complete fucking 180, and he's like, we can be a thing now. And she's like, well, that was, like, weird. So, like, no. <laughs> and then it ends. Um, <laughs> did we go through book two horseshit where it's just, like, we're going to break up for no fucking reason? Well, they're not even together at the beginning of book two. Okay. I think most of book, I think most of book two is him being like, yo, be my boo. And, he, and she's like, no, I won't be your boo. <laughs> I mean, in fairness, demons are fucking. I'm sure that's asshole. exactly how it was written. <laughs> no, like at the end of the book, he's like, "We're gonna be a thing," and she's like, mm, "No, you're kind of an ass," and he's like, "Nope, we're gonna do the fuck," and she's like, mm, "No," so. And then he's like, <laughs> well, worry about is, it. "Is her hashtag and me too?" And then she like participates in like these seminars and. <laughs> Fucking tweets about it and like goes on these conversations. It's the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can we also just establish the fact that she has a blog slash vlog where she reviews books, right? And after she posts a video, she gets zero comments but gets five new subs from the vlog. And it's like, in what reality do you gain five new subs without a single comment? None. That's what. Exactly. Jenny doesn't know how to internet, and it makes me sad. Yeah, she doesn't know how to do a lot of things. But you know what? She makes more money than me, so. <laughs> She's like the New York <laughs> Times best-selling author and everything. It's nuts. But you know what? She, I think, did, she wrote the books after, the I think, Twilight became popular, right, in the movies and stuff? Because yeah. it feels like she just capitalized on Are that whole like concept. Are you about to fucking say bad things about Twilight again? No, I mean, I mean of course you, you know how I feel, ba- how I feel about Twilight. I'm not going to say anything bad about it, but I, it just feels like an obvious attempt. Because even just reading the book, I'm like, oh, she did this after Twilight because it just feels like she took that formula 
because it worked so well and was like, yeah, I'll just copy and paste. But instead of instead of sparkles like diamonds, shines like a light bright. And that's basically like you just interchange <laughs> too. But it's it's fucking it's the same it's the same like story. Like even with the family stuff and like I mean and like how they're like they live in this obscure town and they're like these super hot people that don't like don't make sense as to why they live like it's like the same fucking you know concept. So I'm like I'm like shit that's, that's a good idea. Is it gonna just take the fucking thing? It almost feels like, even though Divergent wasn't actually, a, I, I think a, a copy. I, I want to say the book was actually written before Hunger Games or something. But it, when they came out with the movie, it just felt like, oh shit, this is popular now. Like, all right, we'll just do that then. And that's what this book kind of felt like. Is like they were like, she wrote it like right after Twilight blew up and was like, oh, let's just do this. And then people that were obsessed with Twilight that had no more Twilight to fill their Twilight little hearts were like, I'll read this. I'll read it. It's like, oh my god, it's the same thing. I love it. Pretty much. It's not the same thing. Twilight's it is basically. Better. Like, I'll admit that it is worse, you know, than, than Twilight, even though I do not <laughs> hold Twilight to a high regard. Um, but it is it is basically the same story. It is. Twilight I, is guilty pleasure bad. Yeah, like, that's how I... Jenny am. books are just bad, bad. Except yeah, Bambi. Like, I'm not going to hate on you for, for reading, you know, Twilight or, or enjoying Twilight. I'm sure I, like I have Twilight. tons of stuff... I have tons of guilty pleasures, you know. But yeah, no, it's like one of those things. Like if I'm just having a bad day, like I can just read part of Twilight and I'm like, that was fun. Like, yeah, I don't know. Because the writing in Twilight is actually not that bad. Um, the dialogue's cheesy, but like the rest of it's kind of okay. Yeah. And Twilight also has a lot of funny moments that are actually funny and well done. Well, and the, the world that they set up, I will admit, the world that they set up is pretty cool. I just wish, again, that it wasn't so like... I don't know. I just wish there was more action to it or more something more, you know, than just like, I don't know, but I, I, they did set up a cool little thing. I mean, it's kind of a typical vampire thing where they like, they live in this underground society and it's like, there's like this hierarchy within the vampire community based on who's, uh, you know, the oldest, you know, and the, oh, this person's thousands of years old and all this bullshit, but you know, it's still super bad. I like the yeah. like I like the Vampire Diaries world because there's not really any of that. Because TV. it's basically yeah. the exact same same thing as Twilight. Is that what you like Vampire Diaries? It's like the same it's thing. It's not though. It's like the same thing. Vampire Diaries is good. The it's really not. It's really not. It just says I can't in the TV We're not show. Talking it. Vampire Diaries books. Hey, cryptic. I uh, have a pumpkin spice latte in <laughs> in me. I think you mean on me, but thank you. <laughs> no, he means in him. Like you bring the pumpkin spice latte, and he, you're gonna put it inside of him through a funnel maybe, maybe, or some weird. Maybe system. it's just a statement. Like he's just drank one, so he has it in him. <laughs> Thank you, cryptic. Oh, Peter. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe he just forgot the eye. I have a pumpkin spice latte in me. Peter needs to read for me because it's been oh, a minute. Bad Peter. Bad Peter. Like, I'm oh, waiting. Cool I can't tell you how many times a day I, like, refresh my email now. Because I'm just like, oh, I want to know. Super stressful. Oh, um, <laughs> Why did I have to miss a, one the one book club featuring a bay I can agree with? Yeah, you, know what? Right. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, and you know what? You missed all the, like, rationalization that happened when, like, SDA has to, like, over-exaggerate everything. And I, I have to, like, calm it back down. Like, no, this is what actually happened. How dare you? Okay. I don't know. Hyperbole is not a thing that happens here. And, yes, I know I pronounced that wrong. Yeah, no, I do. I hate it when people correct me. Because there's no, like, good response that you can do when people do that. Like, I'll say hyperbole of, like, epitome. And stuff, and they're like, "You mean epitome?" And I'm like, "But because there's no, there's no out. You can't be like, well, obviously I meant that." Because then they're just like, "Yeah, you're just bullshitting because you said it wrong, you stupid idiot." And I'm like, "No, fucking god damn it!" It's like, do you know how to joke? No, all right. That's yeah, fine. so you almost have to like preface your statement every time. You're like, "By the way, I know that it's not pronounced," but then it takes away the fun of the joke. And I'm like, "You guys, I know." I hate when people like that. Every day. Day. People that are like, and I were actually I'm doing like, that the other day while we were streaming. We would like the chat would just give us puns, and then we would explain the puns, and we did that for like an hour. It went on way too long, but it was fun. <laughs> it was, super, it was, it was ridiculous. Um, You're not supposed to do that, babe. 
I mean, well, that was the point. That's why we were doing it. We were ruining all the jokes. We were being ironic. Duh, it was emo. Duh, being ironic, drinking us pumpkin spice that? lattes, wearing Uggs. That's not <laughs> ironic. That's Hashtag like basic. <laughs> you I know, it's funny. Eggs. Every time pumpkin spice lattes come around, I'm like, yo, pumpkin spice lattes. And then I drink a pumpkin spice latte. I'm like, oh, pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> ah. Thank you, cryptic. On me like a hot piece of meat. I hate motherfucking iPhone. It's on me is what I meant. <laughs> it's okay. We deciphered it. It's all right. Well, I can, now you can buy pumpkin spice lattes for the whole book club. Yay! <sighs> but I will take a caramel frappuccino iced, please. Okay. Frappuccinos are already are like slushies are already iced. Yeah, they're super delicious. They're so fucking them. good. I like them. That's my I favorite like Starbucks drink. This is the, the, the light caramel frappuccino venti, please. Mm-hmm. I like gingerbread better than I like pumpkin spice. Jester's wow. best bay. I agree. I think that that's an accurate statement. Best bay. Bay. Um, yeah. the, there is a Mickey Mouse filter on Snapchat. <gasps> no way. Yes, way. That was genuine excitement. Book club way. with bay. This is what we're talking about. <laughs> no, but there's this Mickey Mouse filter on Snapchat, Jess. Well, I mean, at least, at least have it accurate. Just like, hey, book couple bay, but also some other bullshit. Like, to title it appropriately, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They know like, it. They also, know. by the way, we might fucking talk about pumpkin spice lattes and how shitty Vampire Diaries is, and then like... <gasps> there's a, pa there's a Patreon one. Oh, my God. There is a Patreon one. A what? I can be Patreon. You know... Patreon? What the fuck... Are you talking? It's the pre-evolution of Pikachu. Oh, right. Oh, right, yeah, right. I didn't know that either. I, I, I imagined it was a po it sounded like a Pokemon thing, but I was like, I don't know. Well, she said Pichu, and I was like, you're fucking it up, Bay. See, um, this is why we need to read Harry Potter because you know. I what? did if I would fuck up Pikachu. Those are gonna, those are gonna be books that we're gonna be talking about for the full time, and they're super good, and we, and it, we don't have to hear SDA um, threaten her own life, you know, six or seven times throughout the entire. Uh, <laughs> Book club. Uh, I like the Snapchat filters right now. I'm sorry. Um. Oh, I like this one. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure everybody in the chat's really entertained by you guys enjoying <laughs> your new Snapchat filters. You know what? Oh my god, you guys can't see, but this is awesome. <laughs> I'm like Minnie Mouse. Well, you can't. I can't. Um. No. No. Fuck it. You guys lose. <laughs> like. I probably could if I turned the camera around and face my phone towards my computer. You think it'd be I'll, good enough I'll quality? A, I'll tweet out a picture when we're done. Okay. Yeah. Snapchat, because it's cute. They're super cute. Um, this is riveting, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Jester just wishing he could be mini. Uh, yeah, it's true. I wish um, I could be mini. Hey, what are we doing next? Do you want to do book two? Do we want to do book two or nons? What? Oh, no. Okay, sorry. I was like, you like broke my brain a little bit. Uh, let's do book two and then we'll do Narnia. Okay. Because I want to read something good on the plane because we're flying and I'll stock up on book clubs. And we can do book club regularly still because um, it's we do it super early and we, we won't yeah, actually we do. be doing anything. Are you bringing your laptop to uh... my MacBook Air? Yeah. Oh, okay. Not. I will bring because we're driving to Florida, so I'll bring my my gaming one to Florida. Yeah. No, that was fine. I was just wondering. Oh, uh, so I'll have it with me. <laughs> well, because in in Florida, it's just like we go visit family and we just stay with them. So it's and we like hardly we don't really like do stuff. We just kind of hang out. Yeah. For a couple of days and chill. <laughs> Hang out with your sick cancerous uncle and bring over boys and <laughs> show them your photo album. You know what I mean? Photo album. You know what I'm saying, guys? No, we just kind of we just kind of chill um, and like do stuff, like run errands, and it's I don't know, it's fun. Um, super relaxing. We just run errands. Yeah, that sounds like the epitome <laughs> of fun. Yeah, you know when you go meet your family. And then you Excuse like fucking go to the grocery store and family. shit. Like, I absolutely adore Stop. my family. And my cousin and I and have like errands can be fun. Yeah, I had to get placements the other day, and that was super fun. And I came well, home not just I just, hate, I just hate shopping in general. 
So I don't like I don't like shopping for clothes. Generally, like if I have to go get like a shirt or something, like I'll look it up online and be like, "Do you guys have model hashtag F F O two E four set?" And they're like, "I don't know." And I'm like, "All right, bye." I yeah, but your mail. So typically, Aaron. I don't like shopping either, babe. I like, like actually. I, I, I like going to grocery shopping, store. but I like I like home stuff shopping. Like I like going. Oh, I fucking up. love home stuff shopping. I can home stuff shop for like ten years. Yes, that's why I love Kmart so much. Not I like your going Kmart. To I don't know what your Kmart is, but my Kmart is awesome. Our Kmart's yeah. are trashy. Like they're worse than Walmart. Is what they are. <laughs> yeah, I got this at Kmart. <laughs> I got my you guys off. have like nice Kmart's. I don't know like how that happened, but or maybe the the standard know. is so much lower in Australia I, I <laughs> that well, to them Kmart's like fucking like gold. No, I know that our Coles and our Target are at different companies and completely different to yours. They just have the same name, so maybe Kmart is the same. And screw you, bastard! Kmart is awesome, and I can go there at two a.m. if I want to. And I love it. Totally. No, I love Walmart. I love going to Walmart at two AM. That's always super fun. It's actually a lot of fun. <sighs> no, it's never fun. That's why it's it Walmart. Is. It's super fun. The only thing fun about there is their amazing deals. Everything you know, else. You've never been to Walmart at two AM. It's super duper fun. I've never no, been to Walmart. I have, but it's you're it's always been. gross. It's you're bad. not like you're not going to Walmart I'm, at two like, AM with the right people. I got a fresh market, and that's where they have that good good. That's where you can get like the, the ahi tuna sushi grade, and you could like sear that shit. It's you're not delicious. Walmart incorrectly if you don't in, enjoy it. Apparently, maybe. But again, I'm just not a fan of Sassy, like, I don't what's like up? shopping Sorry. in general. So I uh, I just I prefer I like going to the grocery store though to, to pick out food to eat for the week. That's always super fun. And I like I and I, I like getting candles. Like that's my that's one of my girly things that I like. To I, do. Love I love candles. Out, I, I love going to shop candles. for candles at Bath and Body Works. I just recently, yo, guys, for real. And uh, I don't know about you, unfortunately, Mara, but seriously, SDA, this if you go to Bath and Body Works, it's limited time. We're during the winter. It's called fresh balsam. It's like a pine tree scent. It's fucking amaze balls. I get. I, I stock up on it every year, before they before they get out. I can't do like scented candles. They make me sneeze and give me headaches. Well, then you are a terrible person. That's what that means. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't be mean to <clears throat> What? Now you made her cry. Oh my god! For real. <laughs> Like I make, I make, I'm slightly sarcastic, and then I'm a horrible person, and then I have to read a shitty book for two, for three fucking hours. Well, you know, yeah. Now, now you have to read book one and two, so you can catch nope. up on book two. You, you have know, to be informed. For the, I'm not gonna be, to be in the next book club if you guys I read book question. two. I'll read Relevant. Narnia. Do you want to read I Narnia with us? I'll read Narnia with you. We can do yeah. that. Okay. Um, I I gotta send you all the Narnia stuff. Like I said, though, I don't know if oh. it's word for word, Narnia, but because it's partially acted out. Satsu, SBA is a terrible person for the record. Fuck you, Satsu. But you, but you know what? I you know what, Satsu? It. Here's the thing. No matter how much of a piece of shit you are, no matter how mean you are, no matter how much of a dick you become, I will always love you. I just want you to know that. No yeah, matter I, only how wish, much I only wish those rules applied to everybody, but apparently the motherfuckers that read terrible books and show up at fucking 6.45 a.m. in the morning to do a book club we don't we don't get those same rules because when I say she's a horrible person, she fucking hates on me immediately, and then and then it's like this whole they gang up on me because I'm there's only one of me and there's two of them, and this is well whole, you know what okay. you you now have a proven track record of being mean to Bay. That's what? why you don't get away with it. I also have a proven He's track record of being super nice to Bay. No, he does. He so I'm I'm like super nice. So I get I get like at least I get to call oh, so at least once up, a week. So you build up brownie points and bonus points so you can be a jerk <laughs> and call um, her a bitch. I mean I don't want to I don't want to say brownie points because it sounds a little childish, but there is some form of scoring system for sure. Yeah, there is some form of score. Like like as long as I'm in the positives, you know, because I I do a nice thing, it's like it goes in the positives. I get a negative for the negative thing. So as long as I'm in the I'm in the you know upper half or the upper part, then we're good. No, Skeppy, he re he renamed me SBA, some blonde American. What's the Cause, B? No, because oh. the other day, like I was thinking, it was like last but, week, I was we were streaming Final Fantasy. But your skin tone doesn't suit blonde. No, but I was so fucking dumb. Like I don't know what <laughs> happened. But my IQ was like in the negatives and it was so stupid. 
I don't know what was wrong with me, but I couldn't think straight. And I was like, every five seconds, I was like, I'm so confused. What are we doing? And Satu was like, we're walking in a straight line. We are walking in a straight line. What the fuck? And I was like, I don't know. It it happens to all of us. Don't worry about it. It, it was, happens to me more than me just being a normal person and like operating through the day like a fucking regular intelligent human being. I'm like, like that guy weird. that like on the reg will be like talking on the phone like shit. I need to find my phone before I leave. Where the fuck it? Like I do that way too often where it's not just like oh slip up. Yeah, you really shouldn't raise your hand because you know I can't hear you raising your hand and that's what I'm going by as auditory. So you might sit I know, there. Well, I just won't make you sit there for like like God. twenty minutes one day. Just going. <laughs> just Earlier on, though, I was trying to speak, and you guys were talking, and I raised my hand, and you guys noticed. So now I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. Why Fair are your headphones over your hood? Because if they were under my hood, then the hood would be over here, and then there'd be wind just blowing in here and on my and on my my scalp, and I don't want that. This is comfy. That it's like sense. earmuffs, man. It looks like earmuffs, and then it's but they're extra thick because I have this. There's reasons. Makes sense. Look, look, I. This isn't just where I put my hats, my friends. <laughs> I'm like it kind of is, but okay. I don't wear hats, SDA, and also, why do I get negative points when I'm when I make a joke and then you are still like totally in the fine? I don't. I didn't hear Mara stepping up for me at all. You don't get and I'm, fu I'm fucking side bay. And she doesn't step up for me at all when you're giving me grief. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> at least my at least my sarcastic joke was just one word. But you have this whole like, yeah, you just that's it what? actually it's just for hats. You don't have anything else going on in there. <laughs> wow. Well, to be fair, you are you are at the same level of of Banus as we are. Well, I I imagine, but I feel so like I still I still should get I don't know some representation. I don't know. Fuck. I still I don't well, know. I'll Look. give you a compliment. Your teeth are very straight. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Your hair's very blonde. <laughs> thanks for that superfluous second compliment. Thank you. It is a compliment. Your, your glasses are very helping you see, E. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you and having glasses that allow you to see better. There are some awful teeth. So I'm saying you have nice teeth. Congratulations. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Mara like hates the like hates me the way that like SDA fucking hates Jen the fucking writer. No, no, she and, doesn't. But she no. just masks it with like these like phony ass compliments that are like no, she's I'm phoning in because SDA and I are friends now. So she's just like she's it's like one of those things like oh, my friend's friends with that fucking asshole. So you gotta like put on this the fake this fake bullshit. So you're like uh, I'm like hey great nice to meet you. You know I'm wow you look great today. And she's like yeah you. You know what? what? I said <laughs> I I gave you a very big compliment before. I said you were my pop culture spirit animal. And that's another really phony thing. You. I make fun of people that do that. I'm always like, yo, don't ever say like another human being's your spirit animal. That's the dumbest that, shit. That's people why are I like, yo, it. fucking fucking Will Ferrell's my spirit animal. I'm like, no, he's not. No, he's not. But he might be. By the way, pumpkin spice lattes are your spirit <laughs> animal. Not that SDA say that, but I've, I literally hear shit like that. I'm like, that's the dumbest shit. That's the dumbest shit. I know you don't like it, so it was also a little bit of a dig. But in general, yeah. yeah. See, what, you, you make pop culture references, and I get it. Not helping I feel you your point. You're proving my point. <laughs> Fucking Mara be hating on me all day. She doesn't like that I'm here. She's like, look, I thought I thought book club was just just oh. I just thought book club was for us. Fuck this guy and his teeth. Just you were a very me. charming See individual. <clears throat> you are a charming individual. Look at this. Look, wait, look. I can already tell it's starting out. It's starting out so poorly. You are super charming. You have a way about you. You you talk in circles like 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 a fucking like real politician. Like you know, like the the most like phony My man told me things. I should get into politics. You pretty much <laughs> man. You can fucking phone it in really good and like talk. You can talk actually, around things really actually, well and give these like actually, fake statements. Actually, yeah. no, no, as no. Bastard just pointed out, as Bastard just pointed out, have have you heard me talk to him? You've had it but, very easy. Real quick, 
your hair looks really pretty. Is it like is, is it looks thicker? Do you do anything? Oh really? Yeah. Um, I've had a bunch of it fall out, but I don't know how that would make it thicker. I don't know. It looks thicker. Well, thank you. That makes me feel better because I yeah. cried before because I brushed my hair earlier and it wasn't even knotty and a whole bunch fell out. Thanks, Bobby. It's rude. Many Don't Aussies breed or you have their permanent out. teeth in their 20s. Well, shit, I'm 26, so I, apparently I got four they more do? years. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. Many Aussies lose their permanent teeth in their 20s. It's a thing. That makes me sad. Yeah. Well, I've been, I, I guess it's good that I'm American because otherwise I'd literally have only four more years left with them. <laughs> that'd be a, that'd be a real shame. Because yeah. <laughs> apparently be, they're pretty, they're they're pretty strong. Yeah. And that'd according to Peter, you've got a great tooth to gum ratio. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's weirdly important, and I totally get it. I totally fucking get it. <laughs> Like um, people that people that like when sometimes when they smile they're like the fucking xenomorph from Alien where that like her tracks all the way up here and I'm like yo like yeah. they almost have like a, a first smile and then a second smile and you're like yo <laughs> yo cut your smile back like a half inch <laughs> Jesus Christ um okay so we'll do the second book probably like <laughs> we can't do it Monday morning because I won't you want to do it tomorrow second book I can quite possibly do that. Yeah, we'll do it tomorrow morning. Um, oh, yeah. Actually, I'm going to get everything. That's what I'm getting set up. I will send this. We can discuss this afterwards. Yeah, you People can. Don't um, and then we'll do, we'll do Narnia next week. But we need to figure out how to get Jester to actually legally <clears throat> be sent the book so that we can figure that out. And we'll um, he can download afterwards. a free unzipper. So, yeah. Anyway, um, uh, that's big. thanks for coming, guys. I'm terrible at this. That's thanks for coming. Do, Thank you for it. attending, Jester. You you were you were deeply amusing. <laughs> so and I, you I've, kept us honest. <laughs> so and, thing. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, just be like you're you're a really funny, dude. Like you're amusing for a reason <laughs> that I'm not going to tell you, but. It was, I'm glad that you were here because, because yeah. it was it was it was an adventure. <laughs> I enjoyed your presence because you made stories. I'm not gonna tell you what those stories are to your face, but <laughs> stories were had. Well, I appreciate you guys having me on regardless. I did enjoy myself. It was fun. And um It was. Yeah. All right. Bye guys. Yep.